and then then there comes yeah and then <laughs> this one <laughs> hello 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 <laughs> oh wonderful to see you now yes <laughs> for us too yes we yeah. can say the same <laughs> and to see you with your bubblegum seri <laughs> it's, it's, so. it's very nice you are your your costume fits with your with the bubbles yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But um, I think should we talk about also uh, some of the maybe uh, you are showing Ticket of No Return? Yes. Um, yes. Portrait of a Woman Drinker? Yeah. You, yes. you are showing yeah. it, yeah. yeah. We, are, we are also showing Madame X. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, from your first films and. Um, also showing uh, some documentaries like China, the Arts yeah. People, uh, yeah. Sudas Sudas Passage, Passage. Uh, uh, yeah. Other Snow, Parikaligram, mm. uh, and what <laughs> and mm. like Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Maybe we should uh, talk at least about uh, one film from the uh, mm -hmm. Berlin uh, uh, trilogy. Yes. Are you showing Frigalando also? Uh, no, 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 not no. Now. Unfort but, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, no, no. I, I just then I uh, maybe I should say some thing about the Berlin uh, trilogy. Please, yeah. please, yes. please. So um, uh, in um, uh, in seventy three, mm -hmm. uh, Wolf Fostel, who is uh, Fostel, he is. Um, famous, um, uh, uh, you know, like boys mm -hmm. or uh, Aaron Capo or others. He's a famous uh, happening artist. Mm -hmm. And I know him very well. And one day he called me and he said, you are doing now films. Would you not like to come to Berlin and do a happening documentation? Mm -hmm. I'm doing a happening called Berlin Fever. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I said, fantastic. I was never in Berlin and I would like to come. Mm -hmm. And uh, then uh, I was staying uh, with them in their wonderful uh, Berlin apartment. Mm -hmm. And I was so fascinated by Berlin. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it looked so different to West Germany. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes all these beautiful middle-aged mm. uh, cities who were not uh, destroyed mm. the bigger cities of course like uh, hamburg and and cologne mm. and so but uh, you know you went to berlin in uh, 73 yeah mm. and i couldn't believe what i saw mm. there were still the ruins and mm. some uh, coffee houses were in the ruins or in the gardens mm. and because of the situation there were a lot of places like the railroad uh, places who uh, were because of the uh, separation uh, uh, ex-territorial mm. yeah it belonged to the uh, reichsbahn to the ddr and so on mm. so uh, you know you had places where uh, uh, trees were coming out of ruins and big big places where uh, yeah let alone and the nature were coming back yeah, yeah. so it looked fantastic mm. And also the people look different mm. and you still could see the smoke on the houses. Mm. And when you do films, you look for images who are telling something. So uh, I decided on the spot to, at that time, I wanted to go to New York and I had already right. everything prepared for New York. And then I changed my mind and I said, first I'm going to be there and see it in the city. In uh, so where we are, yeah. Uh, then uh, uh, at that time, there was an enormous uh, uh, nightlife. Yeah, so there in Berlin, um, there was no, you know, normally in Germany at that time, 
at 11 or 12 or at latest one o'clock, the restaurants had to close and even the bars and everything. But Berlin went on the whole night, yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were an unbelievable nightlife and all kinds of nightlife. So I went to see all these different places in the different parts of the city. And uh, I have chosen some of them. And uh, at that time, they were very much discussed. Uh, uh, at that time, the, uh, uh, it was very politicized. And people wanted that you make films who uh, are political slogans. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, this was very difficult for me because I wanted to be really political, but not in this, in the form reduced way, yeah. And then um, I uh, found it interesting to have uh, one figure who is a fictional uh, figure, the foreigner who comes to Berlin doesn't talk, what makes them more isolated. And I, uh, and then the figure uh, who, uh, you know, there are two, uh, it's like one protagonist uh, and it is the flip side of the other, yeah. So you have the back lady from the station zoo and you have this um, elegant uh, lady who likes to drink herself to death, yeah. This was of course an enormous provocation, uh, but it made something clear, yeah, that you, um, and I had the dialogue between these two uh, uh, figures. And um, I would say, uh, it is the other side, it is uh, uh, one figure, and these are the two sides of, of the, uh, this uh, uh, main, yeah, uh, main protagonist, yeah. And I found this very interesting to do it. And in the uh, aesthetics, I have chosen to do a lot with, um, you have a lot of very hard noises, yeah. Uh, you have uh, glass who is uh, breaking glass and the end of the film is a corridor where her stilettos who had before, who are like a light motif, her stilettos is sound tak, 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 like castanets very hard um, uh, on, on the street, on the asphalt. Uh, is uh, going through this Berlin, yeah. And then this uh, uh, scene in the beginning at the airport when she is closed in this uh, um, uh, uh, glass uh, cabin, yeah. So I worked a lot with this kind uh, uh, of uh, things. And this was the first of the uh, Berlin trilogy. Then I made another one, who is, uh, though the first one, Ticket of No Return, a uh, 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 portrait of a woman drinker, is a uh, more uh, city portrait and a portrait of people who, uh, um, it's not about drinking in a way, it's more about uh, alienation. And for Berlin at that time, drinking was a good uh, 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 way to, to show it, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you have the fantasies uh, in how she is um, um, uh, in different um, uh, um, uh, positions, professions, yeah, and everything goes wrong, <laughs> yeah, and uh, at the same time uh, you go around Berlin and the second one has in the background Fricolando all the industrial locations and uh, so, uh, uh, you know, you have in the background 150 years of um, 
uh, industrial architecture. Yeah, also some of them were yeah, uh, uh, lost uh, 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 and uh, were completely um, abandoned. Yeah. And then in the third time in the uh, Dorian Gray, I included a um, colonial opera where the same uh, actors in uh, structural, same uh, uh, position. So the great inquisitor, inquisitor from uh, Spain uh, uh, was uh, in the film uh, uh, Delphine Zierig at the same time uh, uh, Madame Dr. Mabuse, who was the head of a multinational media uh, So, you know, everybody and uh, Dorian Gray, her pupil, was uh, at the same time a young uh, infant coming from Spain and conquer this uh, uh, island and so on. Yeah, so this was, uh, I like to work uh, with this, uh, uh, and uh, it was made with the same actors, yeah, in, in different roles. So this uh, is the Berlin trilogy. So have a wonderful festival and uh, yeah, and, and greetings to all the uh, people who is coming and uh, yeah, and yeah. also to Nicole, yeah. Will <laughs> okay, come. yeah, and she will come, yeah. Yes, she will come. She's the yeah. only one to come because, uh, uh, for sure, because she's vaccinated. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, okay, this is good, yeah. <laughs> So, so, Anina and uh, Andre, yeah, Thank all you. the best for oh. your festival, yeah, and yeah. wonderful uh, what you are doing with and the festival. Yeah. We really hope to meet you soon. Uh, in yeah, the, yeah. Uh, whenever you you can and uh, have a pleasure to come. Uh, we will do it. We are waiting yeah. for you. <laughs> 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 okay. Bye. Yeah. Bye. 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 Bye.